In this video, I'm going to show you how you can transfer a domain from Namecheap over to another account. This can be done in literally two minutes and I'll show you what you need to do. So first things first, you need to make sure you're logged in to your account. You can see I'm logged in here and I'm going to go to my dashboard. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to transfer a domain and show you the whole process of doing that. For the video, I'm going to transfer video tutorial XYZ. So, what you want to do if you can't see your domains, you need to go to your domain list and that will show you all of your domains that you've ever bought. Like I said here, I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to transfer video tutorial XYZ. So I'm going to click on manage. Now I can go to sharing and transfer. And this will give me the option to share that domain. So here we can share to a new owner and we can enter in their username or the email address of the new account. For the video here, I've got a new account on Namecheap. You can see on domain list, I have no domains. I've literally just made it. And the account is called Knowledge Base YT. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to go and enter in this username here. So I can go back to Namecheap and I can type in Knowledge Base YT and I can then click change. So here is the new owner. You can see I'm going to leave this as default here and I'm just going to re-enter in my Namecheap password. And once I've done that, I can then click on change. Now you can see that the domain ownership has been initiated. Now what we can do is we can go to our other account and we can just go ahead and accept that. So here we are on my other account. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to go to my emails and you can see here we've got a domain move invitation. What we can do now, we can accept this by clicking on this link. You can see it's for video tutorial XYZ. And now we should be able to accept this invitation. You will then need to enter out your personal information. Your address and contact information seems to be optional. I'm just going to go ahead and add in a phone number here. Okay, so now I've done that, you can see here, if we go to domain list, everything should be done. And by the way, you might not have to enter in um, your personal information if you've had that account, that account for a while. I've literally just created the account, that's why it's asking me. So I'm going to refresh this page here. And we currently don't have any domains here, so I'm going to go back to the email and I'm going to re-click on the link and accept that. And here we go, now we have action success video tutorial .xyz. Now if we go to our domain list, it should be there. And here we can see we have now transferred that domain to a new account. If that video helped you out, please do make sure you leave a like and comment down below.